Good evening. Uh, I'd like to call this meeting of the planning board to order. Uh, being that we have a quorum and it's after seven o'clock on Thursday, November 18th, I call this meeting to order. We are at the Lakeville Police Station meeting room. Uh, the first item on our agenda is the site plan review of 475 Kenneth Welch Drive, which is for Bud's Goods and Provisions Corp. Uh, this is a continuation that we've had from our previous meeting and at the applicant's request, they have requested that we continue this hearing until I believe our December 9th meeting. Uh, that's accurate at 7 p.m. So I'd like to make a motion to continue the site plan review of 475 Kenneth Welch Drive until December 9th at 7 p.m. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Peter? Aye. Michelle? Aye. Jack? Aye. Myself. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, site plan review is continued. Uh, we have a few things on the agenda that are sort of housekeeping things we've been working on. Uh, I'm going to go through them fairly quickly and uh, possibly continue unless anybody really wants to discuss uh, at tonight's <laughs> meeting. We are. Uh, do have Barbara Mankowski is not present uh, and we'd like her present for some of these discussions. So the next item is signed by law uh, review and update. Does anybody want to add to that or would they entertain a motion to continue until the December 9th hearing? I would uh, make a motion to continue until December 9th. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Peter? Aye. Michelle? Aye. Jack? Aye. Myself? Motion carries. Uh, design standards. Uh, brief little thing, Michelle got us. Uh, I don't know, did you circulate that to everybody, Michelle? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. So it's the portion of the density bonus thing. I just want to make mention that that talks about the current design standards we have. I think if you could pull up to the lot coverage requirements for business zone just to show the 50%, I think we need to have that as part of the review of the design standards if we want to also make an effort to change the trigger from 50% to a lower number because of the projects we've had, like the self-storage, uh, to get that maybe at 30% and give a bigger density bonus of 20% and 20% for the architectural landscape. And then in this effort, at our next meeting, we can also focus on going through the design standards that already exist to make them maybe mimic what Barbara and some of the other members want. Mm -hmm. So that's my update. Uh, if nobody else has any other discussion, make a motion to continue the design standards discussion until December 9th at 7 p.m. Have a motion and a second. All in favor? Peter? Aye. Michelle? Aye. Jack? Aye. Myself, motion carries unanimously. Uh, master plan implementation fee review project update. Uh, Michelle, do we have anything new on that? Or? Um, I'm, I sent out the revisions that I had made from the last meeting. Um, I think it's just a matter of hopefully going through and approving or accepting all of those. I but did. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, you oh, I was just going to say, but I mean, it's probably better to have Barbara as well. Yeah, and I just want to maybe throw out there that we possibly add another portion of our review because of the updated bylaw that we had at town meeting about the earthworks. And I think I should talk to the Board of Selectmen about that because it clearly says one of the triggers, or I should say one of the exemptions is a properly permitted project is exempt. But I don't think the town should give up the revenue from the removal of earth. If the planning board does site plan review or a subdivision, that's technically the permitting process. And if we don't have something in our fee review uh, schedule to cover that, that means it got permitted without the town getting revenue for that. So again, I think I'm not looking to work against, but with the board of selectmen and if our process because of those exemptions allows the earthwork, I still think the town should 
get the revenue and we need to work that out. Uh, uh, so that said, uh, I will try and reach out to the chairman of the board of selectmen to discuss that and I make a motion to continue the fee review project until the December 9th meeting at 7 p.m. Second motion. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Peter? Aye. Michelle? Aye. Jack? Aye. Myself? Vote unanimously to continue. Uh, next item on the agenda is to approve the minutes for the October 14th, 2021 meeting. Did everybody get a chance to review them? Yep. That was uh, a remote meeting. I did review them. They looked accurate to me. Did anybody else have any notations or changes? No, that no, was good. Uh, that said, I motion to approve the minutes for the October 14th, 2021 planning board meeting Second. as drafted. Second motion. Have a motion and a second. All in favor? Peter? Aye. Michelle? Aye. Jack? Aye. Myself. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, we have no old business to discuss tonight. Does anybody have any new business that they'd like to bring up? Uh, there's just one thing. Barbara actually emailed and asked me if I would mind mentioning uh, the Town of Lakeville Natural Hazard mitigation plan there's going to be a public meeting here at the lakeville police department saturday december 4th from 9 a.m to 11 a.m so she wanted to encourage people to attend and that's you're the representative correct yep. that, Peter. i'll be there okay so okay. december 4th yes what's your name nine that saturday yes thank you um we have an invoice to approve, uh, South Coast Media Group invoice. That was, I believe, for the public postings uh, that the planning board is responsible for, for town meeting. It was uh, select board wording update and the marijuana uh, overlay update for two different dates, the 1014 and 1021. Uh, so I make a motion to approve as uh, provided to us and if approved we'll sign this tonight and turn it to Kathy so we don't have to go so uh, motion to approve the South Coast Media Group invoice number uh, dated 10-1 through 10-31 Lake Lake Lake. Lake. I have a motion and a second all in favor Peter aye, aye. Michelle Jack and myself vote unanimously uh, just for the record, the invoice was for $399.82. Uh, and for the record, the planning board's next meeting is on December 9th at 7 p.m. Uh, 2021. And it will be, unless otherwise posted, here at the Lakeville Police Station meeting room. Uh, I believe that concludes our business tonight. So I will make a motion to adjourn. Second motion. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Peter? Aye. Michelle? Aye. Jack? Aye. Motion carries. Meeting is adjourned.